what sucks about wearing black shirts after I film my shit, I always notice slant, man. That's why you gotta get one of these bad boys. Now, this is not a paid advertisement or anything, but you know what might be? Have you ever seen this video about a universal translator going around trying to get some kisses like this? I'm gonna try and kiss girls I've never met before using this translation device, Idi. Well, after seeing that, I kind of had my own sort of uh, Eureka moment when I was like, why can't we have a universal translator here on this lovely little island of ours called Guam? So, you know what? I went to tinkering, I developed an app, and I developed a product to sell to you today for a low, low price of like 10 bucks. And you can have this universal translator sent straight to your door via Carabao cart on Wednesdays on night market, every one Wednesday, every third month of the year. Anyways, so here it is. Here's my latest project, the latest and greatest invention, the Chamorro Translator. Check it out. Excuse me, sir, but I believe your vehicle is impeding my progress through this thorough, rightful way of the road. Prim, you're on the wrong side of the road, Nine Prim. Who the fuck are you? Say something. Well, heck, I'm pretty sure you know who I am. Lana Prim, Lana, you know me, Prim? If you do not cease and desist, good sir, I will have to report you to the authorities. Prim, I can report you to the police, Prim. Okay, Prim, okay. Now, how'd you like that, huh? Pretty cool stuff. Now, what I call my device is the Chamorro Handheld Audio Understanding Dictating Device. That's right, the CHOD device. Call now, operators are standing by. Get it while you can. Products li are limited, no, uh, no refunds. Just, just send me your money. Send it now, go, do it, all right. Alpha homies, and I hope you enjoyed that little skit I just thought up this morning as I was uh, brushing my teeth. I was like, hey, Prim, you're on the wrong side of the road. That that whole thing has become a meme at my work. It's it's funny, man. It's like just saying it, everybody that was around me already understood what who who I was, who and what it was I was talking about. And we had a good uh, chuckle, a couple laughs, uh, especially when, you know, when you're a server, right? You, you usually have a sort of a lane that's designated. Uh, it's like like an unspoken rule but everybody walks a certain way or like your restaurant has a specific door that you enter and then a specific door that you exit to prevent like crashes and stuff or people bumping into each other so uh, that's become sort of the meme at work is like if, if some if two servers like one is bringing out food and the other is bringing him back in you know place to the dishwasher happen to be like coming towards each other and like you know have to stop it's like you know one of us is gonna be like Brim 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 you're on the wrong side of the road Brim oh fire mother motherfucker you want to scrap, bro? You want to be part of my scrapbook, bro? <laughs> so the the I don't know the the chod language or the chod verbiage or whatever. It's it's a very interesting thing. Like it's broken English. It's almost like Hawaiian's sort of pigeon language. Rada, I can't do it. I'm sorry. I don't. <laughs> I can't do pigeon. But it's like our version of pigeon, where you know words are simplified, chopped up. A, a complete sentence that would go normally like I'll report you to the cops or something. Like hey, Prim. Pops, I'm gonna report you too. So, I, I, it's hard to it's hard to explain, but the Chad language is just a very interesting language that is not really taught. You know, it's there's no books, there's no guidelines to how this thing happens. It just happens, like based on how your parents talk to you is how you're gonna talk to other people, and so it's passed down through generations. Just the slang and the and stuff. So it's just a very interesting thing to think about how it's gotten. You know how it's survived so long uh, you can automatically tell when when someone starts speaking you can tell if there's a, a bit of chod coming out it's like you know it, it's a, it's like a dead giveaway I'm not too sure but yeah it, I thought it was a pretty funny thing that that video is like it's a gold mine it's precious it should be saved in the archives because that one video of a potential you know fight on the road became like a joke that brings smiles to you know to the people you know what I'm saying 
saying? It's like it's like a godsend of, ah, here's a meme for you to make fun of. Frim, Frim, you're on the wrong side of the road, Frim. Uh, other than that, some news, interesting news. Finally, me and the homeboy Rusty has decided that we're gonna try out Korea. Seoul, in fact. Uh, a bunch of Guam people just came back from there. They went to a, I think, World Club Dome thing where it's like, it's almost like EDC or Ultra. It's like, you know, it's got the big names in it, like Marshmallow and things like that, where they just... Oh, they're crazy. My Twitter uh, and you know Instagram feed has been flooding with how much awesomeness has occurred with that group of people. Good for them. Good. It's a good thing that they had fun. Yeah, me, me and Rusty decided because we can't go to Japan because of course HK Express canceling the the, the the trip basically by canceling all their flights and not finding anything close to the price point that we want. Okay, it was about 150 bucks. We didn't want to go any more than double that. So 300 was the budget and. And we happen to find a route or a price point where 300 is the budget that we can do. So we got these tickets for about 305, 310, you know, give or take. Round trip to South Korea for about a week or two, not two, a week. And we're searching through Airbnb, Airbnbs and there's some there's some good stuff out there that, like, to, to try out. So we're going to do that. That's an update. Other than that, I... Yeah, still trying to sell stuff. We are at 640 subscribers. We're almost at 650. We're almost at 700. We're almost to 1,000. It's awesome. I think, you know, like, it must be the algorithm or something. If you just consistently upload. Every upload that I've done since I started this whole uh, scheduling thing, every video has at least got me between two or three more subscribers every video. I've noticed that. That's the trend. Every time I upload something, maybe a day or two after, three or four people have subbed to it. So that might be the algorithm. I've, I've read or heard that as long as you're a consistent person that consistently posts content, Content, you will get subs so you know I see that trend so I'm really thankful that this trend is keep on going so once I upload this video hopefully crossing my fingers I get some more subs and we're inching ever so closely to a thousand and that's like a big achievement for a lot of people you know I mean of course you see all these million subscribed youtubers out there but they've got they had to start somewhere too and every time I see their you know their Q&A's or their explanation of how they started they always thought man I never even thought I'd get a thousand I never even thought I get ten thousand now look at where we at millions so that's the goal I'm trying to get. Just inch by inch, inch closer to the main goals of just becoming popular. That's my goal. With that said, thanks. Thank you guys for, you know, your support, watching, liking, subscribing, sharing, and everything. Uh, like I said, I'm trying not to be, like, paying money for advertisements because I, myself, I, I hated advertisements. Like, constantly barraged with these ads that just, I get tired of and I keep constantly seeing it and I hate that. So, I don't want to be like that until I deem myself worthy enough to do that. If I feel like I am worthy of buying advertisement, I'm worthy of gracing your screens by paying for it then I'll do that that that's something I'm considering you know of course that you know the more you put out there the more eyes will see you and the more people will try to you know sub to you and stuff but I just don't want to bombard you with everything right I, you, you can even if you're following me on Facebook Instagram snapchat Twitter I I only just like I, I only push my video you know like hey check it out new video here you go one time that's it I don't constantly try to spam as much as other people I'm not trying to you know name any names I'm not trying to put people on blast or anything but you have those people you see those things where you know they either have that little sponsored sign underneath their Facebook post or, you're, or they're just constantly spamming every Facebook group even like the buy and sell groups you know what I'm saying like you know check out my blog and this is just like a garage sale you know group so I'm, I'm I don't want to be like that I mean of course that's that's trying to reach a bigger audience of course right you got to start somewhere but I just don't want to sort of like just bombard you and basically 
like the more you bombard somebody, the more put off they are from you. It's like, hey, 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 you know, back up. I, I get that you're, you know, you're, you're trying to look at me, you know, look at my, check out my awesome stuff. Yeah, okay, awesome. But, you know, you don't got to shove it down my mouth. You know, you don't got to shove it down my throat. So I don't want to do that because some of these people are doing that, you know, and, and you know, if it works, it works. But for me personally, I, I don't feel like that will work for me. I don't want to, you know, this is, this is a day and age where people are constantly flooding you with different things to try to like prove a point or try to you know try to get you to their side right this is the whole you know the donald trump thing like if you're not with us you're against us if you don't hate him you're a nazi or some shit like that you know what i'm saying so i don't know why i made it political but a lot of this shit like on my twitter and my instagram is very political right now and, and it's, it's it's kind of annoying you know what i'm saying uh so i don't want to be annoying <laughs> i may have an annoying voice i may have an annoying face i may have annoying content i'm sorry okay but you know that's just it that's the updates not much you know i do tend to talk a lot on this camera a lot of people who see me in person like oh my god i, I never knew you talked this much yeah i know i'm sorry you know i'm not a very people person i'm very introverted i am very comfortable with this camera because i see this camera every day you know what i'm saying so i'm comfortable with it and normally i don't try to watch my own videos because i I do get a little like cringed at myself sometimes when I'm seeing myself. It, it's like what I said to everyone who, who's trying to get on this thing, uncomfortable with cameras. Cameras are easier, in my opinion, to talk to than people. Cameras don't judge you. They don't give you weird looks. They don't like, you know, if you're talking to them and they don't seem like they're bored, they're just looking up or they're looking at their watch or looking at their phone. Just going, mm -hmm. Oh yeah, mm, girl, I know. I know what you're saying. And it's like just swiping and swiping. But with a camera, you stare at a camera and it's just staring right back at you, listening. It's not blinking. It's it's not looking away, it's not yawning, it's not seeing signs of boredom. The only problem is like, it doesn't give you any sort of feedback or any advice or anything. It's just taking whatever it is you're giving it and you just work with that. That's, I think that's why I'm so comfortable in front of the camera is because it's not judging me, I hope. <laughs> the people watching this might be, but the camera itself is not judging me. So I think that's why I'm so comfortable with the camera. When you talk to people and they give you weird reactions, you tend to like, okay, I guess maybe I shouldn't have said that or okay, it's kind of awkward now. Let, let me. Let me, uh, you know, go over here, you know, that that's the problem with sort of interactivity. People don't some people don't get my humor and 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 get who, what I'm trying to do. If I make a joke or something, they just get this little what I don't get it. And then I'm just like, uh, never mind. So uh, other than that, yeah, still trying to move. January seems to be the month right now. I'm just in the planning stages of how am I going to get rid of my shit? What am I going to sell and what am I going to give away? What am I going to keep? Am I going to sell this iMac or try to find a way to ship it? And uh, will I have enough money to afford it out there? That's all the questions that are going on in my mind in these coming months. And then I also have a trip to Korea. You know, one last hurrah, uh, a, a vacation before my big vacation to the States, which I still have to find a job. And I'm, I'm waiting on the United Airlines thing. I might do that. I applied. I did the whole video interview thing. Now we just got to wait and see what happens. But until then, guys, thanks for subscribing. We're, we're ever so close to 700 subs. Much respect to you guys. Much love. Like, comment, subscribe, share. And uh, as always, until next time.